Hello everybody. As you know, most of the newer products come with USB-C cable. Now, USB-C cable looks like this. Let me switch to a different camera so you can see what I'm talking about. This is how USB-C looks like. And most newer products come with these cables. However, these cables are not all the same. They're not all equal. A lot of the uh, sites online are advertising them as USB-C cable, which is USB 3.0. USB-C is 3.0. When in fact, they're USB 2.0 and nearly half the speed as a USB 3.0. So now I'm going to show you what the difference is and how to tell not to uh, buy the wrong, how to tell the difference between the two and not to become a victim of uh, a false advertisement. All right. So here we have both cables, USB-C and uh, USB 3.0. USB-C 2.0 and USB-C 3.0 okay so as you can see here both of these are USB-C connectors they look the same size and they appear to have the same number of pins but in fact one is USB-C 3.0 the other one is USB-C 2.0 the one which is USB-C 2.0 is nearly half the speed, which I'm going to demonstrate. And the, the one that's USB-C 3.0 has a blue plug. By the way, let, don't let the color fool you because even the, there are fake ones that are the color is blue, yet it's still USB 2.0. What I'm going to show you is the difference in sight. What makes one faster than the other? The number of conductors in sight. I'm going to take these apart. I'm going to break this open and show you how to tell the difference and uh, and how to not become a victim of uh, false advertisement. First, let's look at the data transfer rate. So here I have a portable SSD hard drive, which has the fastest data transfer rate uh, an, an external hard drive could have. And let's test both cables. Okay, so now I have connected the hard drive to a PC uh, using the slower cable or the USB 2.0. One, one end is USB 2.0, the other end is USB-C. This is my external hard drive. Now I'm grabbing this file which is 3.8 gigabytes and I'm going to drag and drop it to the desktop and see the data rate using the USB 2.0 cable. So using the USB 2.0 cable, my speed is 37 megabits per second. 37 megabytes per second. So you see that, right? Okay, I'm going to pause this. And I will change the cable now. Now I have connected the faster cable, which is USB-C one end and USB 3.0 on the other end. And let's see what kind of a data transfer rate we get. I will copy the same exact file. Okay, so this is the same exact file, 3.8 um, you know, gigabytes, and I'm going to drop it to the desktop. Let's see the speed, 391 megabits per second. The same exact file from the same exact hard drive. You see the difference? day and night difference my friends it's day and night difference that's why it is so important not to fall victim uh, to these fake um, uh, cables that you see no name brand cables uh, that they advertise it as USB-C when it's actually USB 2.0 USB-C is supposed to be the fastest USB out there supposed to be faster than USB 3.0 now I'm going to show you I'm going to sacrifice the cable and show you what the differences are inside okay so that you learn and you can inspect it yourself this is a USB old USB or I should say USB uh, uh, 2.0 
as you can see this end is similar to the real cable but inside let me illuminate inside you see there's only four pins only four pins nothing else so you see it from here right now I'm going to show you the USB 2.0 where one end is USB-C the other end is USB 3.0 and look at the number of pins inside you have two rows of pins inside two rows okay now I'm going to take them apart so you can see better okay I'm going to sacrifice these cables to teach you it's worth it okay there you go you only see four conductors okay now I'm going to sacrifice this brand new USB 3.0 cable to show you what this has to offer look at the difference we have one two three four five six seven eight nine conductors so we have more than double the number of conductors when they were advertised at same speed and same time same type of cable so I have them side by side as you can see look at the differences right and now look at the other ends identical other ends are identical when the number of conductors are half same thing if you cut the cable there's a lot more wires going through this than there is to going through that one so I hope this was educational please make sure to like and subscribe